Good morning students. I welcome you all to your English class. Let's begin today's English class. Today's topic is chapter number 11 that is types of sentences. So today we we are going to start a new chapter and the name of the chapter is types of sentences and it's on page number 76. Today we will be doing from page number 76 and we will cover till page number 79 and this chapter is from your new learners English grammar and composition book. So everyone get ready for today's English class. Today children we are first of all going to learn about sentence. So all of you have got knowledge about what is a sentence. So let's check out what is a sentence. A sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense and it should always have a verb and there is a subject and a predicate. In a sentence you always have a verb and you have a subject and a predicate, right? So the group of words that makes sense is called a sentence. You cannot arrange different group of words and call it a sentence because until and unless it makes sense it doesn't become a sentence right now see here from page number 77 you will be seeing that a sentence is a group of words arranged in such a way that it makes complete sense another thing that you should note is that a sentence always starts with a capital letter Okay, all the sentences starts with a capital letter and it might end with a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark. Another very important thing that you need to remember is that a sentence must have a verb. So, a sentence always has a verb and it always begins with a capital letter, right? So, these are the things which we need to keep in mind, okay. So, in today's class, we will be learning about types of sentences. We will learn about declarative sentence. We will learn about interrogative sentence. We will learn about exclamatory and imperative sentence. So, as we proceed, we will learn about the different types of sentences, okay. Now, you can turn to page number 76. Now on page number 76 we have got a graphic organizer. So you can see it is uh, presented in a graphic form right. So we have got sentence types or the types of sentences and below that there are three categories. First one is statement, next one is questions and the third one is exclamations. So below statements it's written stars shine brightly full stop next questions below questions we have got the example do stars shine brightly question mark so that is how we ask a question and next one or the last one you have exclamations how bright the stars are exclamation mark so here you can see that we get introduced to three types of sentences. Now we have to find out some of the things. So here we see number one we have to find out two things that are common for all the types of sentences in the graphic organizer above. So we have to find out things one thing that is common okay we have to find two sorry two things that are common in all the sentences. Next we have to find out one thing that is different for each sentences then match what you found out with the answer below. So the first one you see the first question the answer to the first question that what are the two things that are common in all the three sentences. So the two things that are common in all the three sentences are that each sentence starts with the capital letter right. So you can see that the stars S is in capital letter, do's, uh, do, D is in capital letter, house H is in capital letter. So that's the first common thing uh, we have already found that each sentence starts with a capital letter. Next thing you will see that each sentence has a 
verb okay so which is the verb in the three of the sentence says yes it is shine the stars shine brightly do the stars shine brightly and how bright the stars are so in all the three sentences we have got the verb okay which expresses about the work that has been that is been done right so these are the two things in common now we will find out what is the difference okay in each sentences so you can see that the first sentence the first and sentence it ends with the full stop then the second sentence it ends with a question mark and the third one it ends with an exclamation mark okay so these are the differences that we find in the three sentences right now so let's discuss about sentences and its types so as i have already told you that a sentence is a group of words that is arranged in such a way that it makes complete sense a sentence always starts with a capital letter and it might end with a full stop with a question mark or an exclamation mark and a sentence will always have a verb okay now let's learn a little more about the sentences here so we have got a sweet conversation between jonty and dusty the two friends yes so jonty is saying my summer holidays will start from tomorrow now dusty is giving a reply she is replying what fun keep your promise jonty so here you can see there is an expression of your feelings and emotions right next we have got jonty i can't remember any promise what did i promise so that's a question right now dusty is saying you agree to do something about the tree house how can you forget that so now see we have read a conversation that has taken place between jonty and dusty now did you find all the three types of sentences they are as follows so here we have come across the different types of three different types of sentences so first one is statement right we found that my summer holidays will start from tomorrow and after that we have got a full stop so that is declaring something that is saying something that is very common right next is exclamation keep your promise after that we have got the exclamation mark so here we see that it is expressing some emotion and the last one is question what did i promise question mark so that is a question right so what do these three types of sentences do so what is the work of these three types of sentences so let's read about and learn about this a declarative sentence makes a statement so when you say something that is you are you are de declaring something right so that's a that is called declarative sentence so we say normal facts using declarative sentences so in our day to day life uh, the uh, language that we use for uh, conversing with our uh, you might say your friends or in uh, with our relatives and in a family we generally use the declarative sentences right such sentences are the most commonly used sentence type so this is the most common usage of the sentence we mostly use the declarative sentence now let's check out example i heard the weather report full stop it says it is going to rain full stop so these are the declarative sentence and it is the statement right next let's discuss about an interrogative statement so children an interrogative statement is used to ask a question we use the sentences to ask for information or to find out about anything or about any fact right so the example is do you know that man what is the time so these are the questions that we ask so these are known as interrogative sentences and the next one is exclamatory sentence now see here an exclamatory sentence shows a strong feeling so whenever you are very much excited you are full of emotion that can be of happiness that can be of sadness anger so disgust so the point or the situations at which your emotions are very strong and you express them we 
generally use the exclamatory sentences right so an exclamatory sentence shows a strong feeling it is quite like a declarative sentence but it expresses emotions and excitement now for example stop teasing me exclamation we are going to build a tree house so these are uh, the emotions are expressed with the help of these types of sentences so notice the punctuation mark used after each type of sentence so that will uh, that is actually help that will actually help you to identify the types of sentences okay now let's move to the next page that is page number 78 and let's start with the exercises i hope so the concepts of types of sentences and what is sentence is clear to you right children so now we will start with the exercises so number one let's practice we have to identify the different types of sentences that are given below the first two are have been done for us so number a why do you behave like that question mark so that is very easy it is interrogative right interrogative sentence so we will just write the type okay no right no need of writing it writing the sentences again okay so just write down it's already given for us interrogative next number b i want to know why you behave like that full stop so that is declarative right next number c i am sorry full stop so that is again declarative right so you have to notice the punctuation marks that are used after the sentence right after each sentence number d I feel uneasy exclamation mark so that is exclamatory right number D is exclamatory number E this new planet looks frightening full stop again declarative okay so you have to see that because we have full stop at the end it will be declarative sentence watch out exclamation our space suit is on fire so that is again exclamatory so number f is exclamatory let's move to number g when did you first notice the fire question mark so that is yes it is interrogative because we are asking a question number h ask dorji to solve the problem full stop again x again declarative right because we have a full stop number i did he solve the problem question mark again we are asking a question so interrogative number j and hand me your suit full stop declarative number j is declarative number k it's hard to believe that this suit is made of titanium again exclamation mark so it is exclamatory number k is exclamatory now number l there are more suits in the store full stop so it's declarative l is declarative now we will move to number m we are go going we are on the wrong planet so that is we are having exclamation mark it ends with an exclamation mark that is why it's exclamatory okay m is exclamatory let's move to number n what should we do now question mark yes it's interrogative number n is interrogative let's move to o i would send those creatures a gift if i were you full stop so this is declarative o is declarative let's move to number p now okay send them a nice gift exclamation mark again exclamatory right so number c is declarative d is exclamatory e is declarative f is exclamatory g is interrogative h is declarative i is interrogative j is declarative k is exclamatory l is declarative m is exclamatory n is interrogative o is declarative and p is exclamatory 
Okay, be careful about the spellings when you write down. Okay, let's move to number two exercise now, right? So, for number two, we have to use the expressions given here to make three sentences per expression. So, some one expression is given to us and we have to frame three types of sentences using that. So, we have to make declarative, interrogative and exclamatory sentence using the correct punctuation marks. Okay. So, number A is already solved for us, your work. So, number 1, it is written, you have completed your work, full stop. So, that is declarative. Number 2, have you completed your work, question mark, interrogative. And number 3, I am not happy with your work, exc exclamation mark, that is exclamatory. Now, we will move to the next page, that is page number 79, okay. It is given number B. We will start from number B. Snowed heavily, right? So, the first sentence that we will write is, it is snowing heavily, full stop. So, that is declarative. Number 2, did it snow here yesterday? Question mark. That is interrogative. Number 3, wow! Exclamation mark. It is snowing. Again, exclamation mark. So, that is exclamatory, okay? Now, let us move to number C, great film. Number 1, Titanic is a great film, full stop, that is declarative. Now, number 2, is Titanic a great film, question mark, that is interrogative. And number 3, the, the film is great, then exclamation mark, that is exclamatory, okay. Now, we will move to number D, the new lamp, that is the expression. So, first sentence that we will make is that, this is the new lamp, full stop. This is the new lamp, full stop, that is declarative. Number two, is this a new lamp, question mark, interrogative. Number three, wow! exclamation the new lamp is very beautiful exclamation mark that is exclamatory now number e final exam number one our final exam will start from next week full stop that is declarative number two when is the final exam starting question mark so it is interrogative Number three, oh no, exclamation mark, tomorrow is our final exam, exclamation mark. So, that is exclamatory, okay. So, I hope so you have completed a number E. Let us move to the last one, that is number F, tastes great. So, number one, these pastries tastes great, full stop, that is declarative, number two. Are these pastries taste great? Question mark. That is interrogative. And number three, the pastries taste great. Exclamation. That is exclamatory. Okay. So be careful when you are writing the sentences and make sure that you are putting the correct punctuation marks and you are writing the correct types, the na correct names of the types of sentences that you are framing. Okay. So do the exercise carefully. Yes. Don't be in a hurry to complete it. Write the correct spellings and do it carefully and neatly. Your handwriting should be very neat and clean. Okay. Uh, so, I hope so. You are clear with the concept of sentence and you are also clear with the types of sentence. So, again I am repeating that a sentence is a group of word that is arranged in such a way that it makes complete sense. A sentence always starts with a capital letter. It might end with a full stop question mark on an exclamation mark and a sentence always has a verb okay now we learned in today's class about declarative sentence which is most commonly used so such sentences are most commonly used type of sentence and they are used for saying normal facts in our day-to-day -day life 
Next is interrogative sentences are used for asking questions or for seeking information about any fact or about any happening. And the last one is exclamatory. So exclamatory sentences are used in order to show a strong feeling of or emotion to express any emotion or excitement. Okay. So you can easily identify the sentences by looking at the punctuation marks that are used at the end of the sentences. So I hope so the concepts are clear to you. So that much for today's English class. All of you complete the exercises and do revise the concepts once again. Thank you.